You know, I watch so many of these videos on the live stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And these are probably the worst ones I have ever, ever, ever seen. Now, let's not do a lot of these things. There's a lot of road rage, a lot of lane splitting where we should not be lane splitting, especially at speeds. And then we hit a goat or something. <laughs> Anyways, let's get the class. There's time stamps in the description. I don't time stamps. Either way, let's just go. It's a little, I'm tired. Let's just get the class. All right, so motor rides, there's a side of the vehicle right there. They're going to get in your lane. You should probably adapt to that. Last second, not good enough. You should have done it sooner. You saw it. What the f wrong? Should have saw it, dude. You didn't see me or what? What? You didn't see me? What do you mean you just pulled out? I got it all on camera. What do you mean? Are you trying to get pulled over? Well, I'm about to report your plates, bro. You literally just almost took me off the road. You're listening to music. You can't even hear what's going on. What do you mean? You can't even see what's going on if you pull out in front of me, bro. Moto rides, dude. Dude, I got it on camera, bro. Let me get your plates real quick. Hold on. So we're riding. We're in actually a pretty good lane position. Lane position two and three. Sorry. There we go. Lane position three. So if we had to, we can adapt and get into another lane. Now, we talk about patterns on this channel all the time, and there's that pattern. That's that side of the vehicle we got to be very concerned about. That side of the vehicle is going to indicate that that person is obviously traveling this way, right? So that's what we got to be worried about. So when we see this, and that person is going to come in, we should already anticipate who cares, right? We're going to go ahead and adapt and get into this lane. If nobody's in our blind spot or the right of us, it doesn't matter. It's called being courteous and a defensive rider. So you're going to move over anyways, whether they get into your lane or not, because you anticipated you are preemptively getting yourself in a better position for safety. You're basically making it safe for everyone involved, especially you since you're in a on a motorcycle. So when we see this, he's not going to do it until last second. He actually sped up and then rev bomb, and now he's having to swerve. So now we're part of plan is going to navigate a threat. This, could, this would have not been a threat if we just adapted to it in the first place. But thankfully, he did a good job with the swerve. Okay, there's the swerve. Did fine. Did great. Got himself out of the danger. It was a close call. Don't rev bomb. But then right here, getting super pissed about it. What the f wrong? It doesn't make any sense because we should see that ahead of time. And then to do this at the end of the day is just, is just dumb. It's just dumb. Complaining that he can't see us or hear us because he's got he's got music. It's like, dude, everybody has music. Everybody is doing something else. So you're going to get mad. Everyone has to not listen to music. Everyone has to always look out for motorcycle riders. And everyone has to basically move out of your way. You see how that's starting to sound? All right, here we go. So we're riding. we got some animals on the side of the road. Be very careful. Go nice and slow. Doggo is saying, hey, these are my goats. And that dude just took you out, Alexandros Mit Mitakos. Oh, that goat said, nope. <gasps> there was a passenger. <gasps> oh, no. Another at Moto AZ. Okay, so we're going to be riding through here. So... This is the passenger's hand, and there's the, the, the rider. So when it comes to riding with a passenger, just realize your total stopping distance is going to be greater. You're going to have to anticipate something a lot further. Your throttle input's got to be smoother. Your braking input's got to be smoother. You have to be so situationally aware that you are looking at least 10 to 20 seconds ahead. You have to. Because you have a passenger now, so the dynamics of everything is going to be all screwed up. So we see this. We should be going even slower than this. We should be practicing our slow speed, basically, on this turn. Because you don't know. Animals are so, so, so surprising. I can't think of words today. So we're going to be moving through here, and that dude's like, I'm going to come get you. Got knocked. Now, this guy, he's just hurting. He's just hurting people, or hurting, <laughs> hurting people, hurting goats. Uh, what did you expect? There's yeah, unpredictable. There we go, Phil. Jeez, can't even speak today. Dude's just like, what did you expect?
Part of being a smart rider is acquiring and utilizing personal protective equipment, so make sure you grab yourself a jacket just like this one from RevZill using the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. It helps me out. No extra cost to you. Plus, it lets RevZilla know that the DDF and crew is pretty badass, and they actually grab some gear. Anyways, click that link. I'll see you soon. We're moving into here, so we're lane filtering or lane splitting on the bike lane. What did you expect? Moto Rides AZ. Are you mad? Arizona, we can't lane filter, dude. So what you did was an illegal turn, or not illegal turn, an illegal maneuver. So this is in Arizona, I'm assuming, because it says Motor Rides AZ on the very bottom right. Um, and we're gonna be in the bike lane, that's illegal. And here's the thing, nobody, nobody knows that you're doing this. Like these car drivers do not anticipate somebody doing this. So when we're doing that, nobody thinks that there's gonna be either someone there, so they're just gonna turn right. They don't, who here has to check their blind spot when they're in the right lane? Right, if, if we're if this is a bicycle lane, there's no bicycles catching up to you. You never pass on the right either. You hear the squealing? That's all rear tire. He's locking up his tires. And a little tippity tap tap. So, don't lane split like this. He did a rev bomb to get their attention. Didn't save him though. And here's the thing: when we're gonna get pissed off at this car driver or this truck driver like that. Just realize what we just did was illegal, so he's probably not gonna chase him down and, and turn this in. So he just hit somebody and he's gonna take off. So that's a hit and run. That's a hit and run, dude. You just hit that car and you're gonna run. Why are you posting this? All right, so we're getting into here. We're going pretty good speed, 94, 85. I'm assuming this is United States. Wear gloves, I don't know why we only have one. Oh, you got caught. Do not run, please. It's so dangerous, but I mean, it's up to you. You do you. All right, find a safe area to pull over. That's a good safe area. No. Now, now I know some places have a no chase law. It's, it's a little dangerous for the motorcycle rider. Uh, high risk, high risk. All right, looks like we're going to talk about that one for a little bit, but let's get into this one. So right away, we're going 100, Jacob French. <laughs> right away, we're going 100. So we're going to be going over here. Now, I don't know why we don't have, there you are, we don't have a glove on the right hand. I, I, I don't know the whole context of the situation, but let's, let's just look at it. We're going really fast, and we got caught. Okay, so we have a police officer behind us. All right, so we got a police officer behind us. We're gonna go ahead and get over. We're like, oh crap, we got, I'm gonna get in trouble. Criminal speeding, you're gonna get your bike impounded. You're gonna have all these different consequences. So many points on your, on your license. Uh, in Arizona, it's very bad, especially if you've been drinking, extremely bad. Um, so what's gonna be happening here is you can decide to just run. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Once you decide to do that, your, your consequences are much higher. It's obvious, you know, if you do something you're not supposed to be doing, you know, it's a lawful order, they're telling you to pull over, you're not doing it, boom, you just, you got some more stuff. Uh, so when we talk about risk management on this channel, okay, your risk is now not being managed very well. You have all these different things that you're now adding to, to your record, basically. So in order to get away, you got to increase your risk, risk, and risk, and risk. You got to keep going faster, 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 and do more and more dangerous things just to get away. So if your concern is legalities, your concern is financial, getting your bike impounded, don't do this in the first place. Don't speed and don't do crazy dumb shit in the first place. That would have solved it. Now, if you're going to run your next problem is probably you're going to crash at a high speed. Do you have full gear for that? It doesn't look like it. So we're going to go ahead and run for it. And we're going to go ahead and lane filter or lane split. This is going to be lane splitting at over 110 miles an hour. 118 miles an hour, we're going to lane split a big truck and a car. 
So we're not doing anything when it comes to risk management. We're not paying attention. We're not being a smart rider. This is absolutely, absolutely a dumb rider. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.